Hello everyone and welcome back to Team Lucid Dream. My name is Max, it is a Thursday and it is also my birthday. <laughs> okay, so this week uh, I'm going to be sharing with you a lucid dream I had roughly about a year ago now. So I was just having a regular dream as I usually do and I suddenly became lucid and I decided that I wanted to go exploring. Now in all my years of lucid dreaming I've actually found that just exploring the dream can be just as rewarding as trying to control it. So for me I was walking around just taking in the environment. I walked into a building which happened to be a massive library which was like stories tall like books going on forever and ever and ever and there were two dream characters stood by a desk and I went and I approached them and I asked them what this place was and this entire building was basically a library of my subconscious so every single thought, every single experience, absolutely every bit of my life was documented somewhere in this building. So as I was talking to the dream characters I like to ask them what their names are usually because I always find it really funny when I meet a very interesting looking dream character sort of very colourful and sort of very like, fantastical and then they always have like a really basic name like Alan. First character that I approached he was quite tall a little bit overweight, he wore glasses and he had kind of scruffy uh, blondish brown hair um, and I asked him what his name was and his name was Ernest he also told me his last name which was Ginsberg and he preferred to go by Ginsberg than Ernest anyway so Ginsberg had loads and loads of keys and it was his job I guess he was kind of like the caretaker of this place so he had access to all of the rooms if any other dream characters needed to be in a certain place in my subconscious he, he'd have the key, he could take them there um, he kind of let me look around certain like corridors whilst I was there so that was his job, he was the keeper of the keys the other character was a woman she was a little bit taller than me which isn't hard to believe because I am tiny she was dressed more formally as Ginsburg he was kind of dressed more casual but this character she was dressed more formally she had sort of blonde hair and a ponytail and her name was Debbie Holloway and it was her job to kind of file everything in the appropriate place so that's what they were doing, they were working together when I met them uh, to store some new memories somewhere and the interesting thing is like this place obviously I was only really in one room uh, of, of this place obviously it's, it goes on and on and on and there was a lot of dark corridors which I didn't have access to which even Ginsburg didn't have access to so that's interesting and it will be really interesting to go back there, which I, I would, it, I've had plenty of time to go back there and I haven't but that's kind of what I'm wanting to do now, is to go back there, explore some more, maybe meet some other people that work there uh, maybe finally go down those dark corridors. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. If you have any dream experiences that you want to share, if you've met any dream characters that you want to tell us about, then remember to leave a comment it, uh, below. And remember, as always, new videos every day. So if you want to see those, subscribe to the channel. I will see you the next time.